If we look at the time period since May 1st, we see 11 seismic events with a minimum magnitude 6.8. And interestingly, in September, we had quite a few of them, more than in the four months prior. And if you've been following the forecast, you know that we anticipated seismic activity above average in September due to critical planetary geometry, 19 alignments from 11 September to October 1st. However, the most critical time that I anticipated after the 21st, we only see a 6.8 aftershock on the 22nd in Mexico. And again, this is very much due to the condition of Earth's crust. We do not know that. The amount of stress between faults, we can have very critical geometry, planetary and lunar geometry, and only some seismic response. But overall, if you look at September, we see an obvious seismic increase, two magnitude 7.6 earthquakes, three seven-pointers overall, which is very much above average. If we look at long-time averages, we see that magnitude 7 earthquakes occur every 20, 24 days. But that's on average. In reality, they much more often occur in clusters due to critical planetary and lunar geometry, which can also cluster as we've seen in September. What should we anticipate in the coming days? Venus is lining up with the Sun and Jupiter as we speak. We see that the alignment will be exact at 12.14 UTC. Then on the 10th, Venus, Mercury, Mars at 12.15 UTC. And on the 12th, Mercury, Earth, Jupiter. And this is the third time that these three planets align within several weeks. And the previous two times we had a 6.8 and even a 7-pointer within two, three days following the alignment. So that will be 12, 13, 14 October. There is a higher probability of such a strong seismic event. But again, it depends on the condition of Earth's crust, whether or not there is critical amount of stress somewhere at a fault section. But Venus, Mercury, Mars can also be critical. That will be on the 10th. And occasionally with Venus lining up with an outer planet, there is some higher probability of a strong to major seismic event. We also look at the lunar geometry coinciding or following the critical planetary geometry. And if we look at the coming week, we see Venus, Sun, Jupiter, that's this purple peak. And it's followed by a high lunar peak, 19 on the index on 8, 9 October. And we could see a seismic increase around that peak or just following the peak. So around the 9th, maybe more critical. In a worst case scenario, a seismic event approaching magnitude 7. Then on the 10th, Venus, Mercury and Mars in an alignment. And we could see a seismic increase at the next lunar peaks. That would be 11, 12 October, which is also when Earth aligns with Mercury and Jupiter. And a seismic increase is very well possible around that time or following that peak. So that's 12, 13, maybe 14 October. We do not know how the seismic response will be. A seismic increase may occur with this high lunar peak. It is also possible that it will not happen until the next lunar peak and the critical geometry there. That very much depends on the condition of Earth's crust. On the website, you will find the latest forecast, the magnitude probability, and also the SGI graph that we've just seen. In addition, this forecast video will also be embedded on the main page. You can also check out the social media channels, that's on Telegram and Twitter. Videos are posted on Rumble and YouTube. Be safe everyone. Until next time.